That's the only reason why I go down there, because they go all out and pay me. They would never pay me, but they'd pay me to go down there. I was the only dumb enough person to go down there and take a beat on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. That's what my dignity was. I didn't even give a fuck. Just give my envelope. I got shit to do. Why was it taking a beating? I don't know why Irv- was it rough. Irvine never liked me. Irvine and me never really got along. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I wrong or did we? No, we didn't record the priest there. We did that in Brea. Ontario, maybe. Or Brea Brea. Brea. Brea was my Brea was my favorite fucking improv in California. Then they opened up the one by a house, and we did that one after the holidays, before New Year's. That's the one we had to carry your dad out on terror. Yeah, that was, that was Irvine or Oxnard. That was Oxnard. Oh, that was Oxnard. You're right. Oxnard, <laughs> where Keisha came with the tight bike pants on, and your dad fucking. We had to carry him out like hysterical. These guys. I'm That's telling a lot you. Of stars. Wednesday night before Thanksgiving to me is the best night of the year. Since I was a kid, I would lose my mind. That's why I just that's why I learned how to sell Coke. The Wednesday nights when everybody came home from college that first year, I felt like Matt Lowe in that movie uh that he did about the college people. I was like the bad egg. They would come home like, oh my god, we just did Rutgers. Really? We'll snort this shit. This will put you on a different planet. So I remember it that night. Huh? I just it was funny that you learned it the night before Thanksgiving. Yeah, because everybody comes home from college. Everybody goes out. Everybody puts a new t-shirt on for thing. I think people get more dressed up the Wednesday before Thanksgiving than New Year's Eve. That's great. Everyone work. goes home. Fucking moron. How'd you do this weekend? Anything? I, I, I did five spots last week, all open mics. Did you What'd bet you New England anything happened for you last that, week? Yeah, yeah, I got I got a couple good ones actually. I got really lucky on DraftKings last night because I I I won a couple. I put like forty bucks and I got it to like a hundred, and then I lost a bunch and I just put the rest on the under for the Vikings. Uh, Denver game. Denver game last night and it was forty one and a half. And fucking Denver scored, but they went for two and didn't get the two. So because of that, I was under by half a point. I was wow. Fucking, that, was a fucking, that was a fucking... That's like why you bet the... Because <clears throat> I was watching the whole time. I put one bet in this weekend. Yeah. Houston. And they didn't cover. They won by five. They were given five and a half. Oh. And I fucked up because I don't have the football package. I watched it at Jimmy's house, but Jimmy went to Miami to see the Je- uh, the Dolphins play Las Vegas. So I fucked up. I couldn't watch the game. I'll just go to Jimmy's and go upstairs, and I would have watched the Texans. But I'll tell you what's been giving me money lately, Lee. What's that? DraftKings Casino. I love the That's my favorite part of coming to Jersey. That wheel of fucking, that wheel of fucking whatever. Fortune. Wheel of fortune. Dog. But I don't play. I play at odd hours. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night with insomnia, I'll hit that bong three or four times and I'll fucking just play dollars for fucking an hour. And dog, you always win. After like $69, $70, you start hitting. And you, yeah, you usually, gotta spend something. Yeah, it's it's you have to spend some money and then hit, take a little beating, and then be patient because boom. You'll fucking catch it then. But, yeah, I didn't – nothing. I haven't really been – basketball, ugh, I don't really know the teams. I thought the fucking Dallas would be good. They're getting beat up. The Clippers got this all-star team, which I knew wasn't going to work, but they've lost a bunch in a row. Milwaukee's got an all-star team. They can't put it together. You know, it's just been – eh. So maybe I'm getting old. Who the fuck yeah, the only one I watch is the Celtics, and they've been doing pretty well. Celtics always do well. I watch this. If the Celtics are on TV, especially against the Sixers, because I got the Sixers here. Yeah, those have been good I games. Sixers, I get Boston. No, I get the Sixers. I get uh, Brooklyn, and I get the Knicks. And I can't watch the Knicks of Brooklyn, but I'll watch the Sixers all fucking day long. 
my man Maxie's on the sixes. So, but Boston, I was just talking to uh, one of the kids on my uh, around the corner. He's John, he's Luke Florentine's friend, and we were talking about how Boston already played Philly twice in Philly this year. Like the season's a month old. They've already played. I'm not going to see Boston this year unless I go to the Garden or to Brooklyn. And, and they were good games. That's yeah. crazy that they scheduled them so close to each other. I went to one of the Boston games last year. I always try to catch Boston every year. I'm not telling you I'm a Boston fan, but if you're going to watch a game and get your money's worth, you might as well go, go see Boston. I hate that they traded away Maxwell Smart, the black dude with the pink hair and shit. You know, yeah. their reasons, but I'm going to miss Marcus him. Smart. Marcus Smart. Marcus. What's up, Lee? What do you got going on next week? Well, this week, you got spots Wednesday. You got yeah, I got, Thursday. I got some, but I, I'm really excited. I'm going, I'm featuring for uh, Josh Wolf at the Kansas City Improv. Next week. At the end of the month. The 30th through the 2nd, yeah. That's a good fucking um, week. They got good food. They got a good kickboxing school over there. My man from the UFC. Oh, yeah? Boxing school. That's a fun fucking club. Kansas City, I've always loved Columbus. There's just some clubs that are fun three days. Yeah, I've done three seven. days, you know. <clears throat> You're really going to be busy if you try. Cleveland, my boy Nick, I love that fucking room. We used to go over to the Pastrami place on Fridays. The hotel's got the chocolate bar with the chocolate milkshakes and the chocolate martinis. Oh, Jesus Christ. At the hotel? At the hotel, the chocolate bar. I would come home all three nights. And get a chocolate shake. Listen to me. Even the straw is fucking chocolate. Jesus Christ. It's That's... one of those type of places. Do you have a barbecue place in Kansas City? No, but it's everywhere. And the staff will tell you. If you were in Cleveland, right across the street from the club, 40 yards, there's a high-end fucking, or there was, there was a high-end fucking barbecue place. The brisket sandwich. <sighs> Woo! Smoking Jack, I love. I fucking. I can't wait. I love brisket. I love, but I've gotten to do like all the not all, but yeah, I did like with you. I do. I did the store. I did Cap City. I did uh, the Comedy Works. 